Welcome back to Let's Play The Foundation, the DLC chapter for Control. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, I'd like to give a shout out today as a start to things to Elthwar, who left a very interesting comment. Uh, it was very simple, just said that, you know, whatever's going on at the Foundation and Marshall must be really dangerous. Because A, only the director is supposed to visit the Foundation, and B, the board was using more urgent language about this problem than for the Hiss invasion. And I thought through that, actually, and came up with something interesting. The Hiss uh, invaded the oldest house, and let's face it, they probably killed the majority of Bureau agents instantly. You just possessed them right out of the gate before they even knew something was happening, much less what. And, uh... Oh, well, that's weird. Oh, no, that's not the door I opened. No, that's right, there was just a big hole in the side, wasn't there? Is that the right one? I don't remember which one is which. Yeah, the Hiss invaded, and the... the board remained calm, you know, collected. Almost serene. They just reached out to their brand new director and said, Solve this problem for us. Then, when the Hiss actually threatened... The Black Pyramid, when they got into the, uh, the Astral Plane. The board freaked out. They seemed terrified. Just, please, for the love of God, don't let these things get us. Here's 26 free levels, or, no, I guess it was 24 free levels of energy, so you can take on all these level 30 dudes. Yeah, if I was equivalent to, uh, level six dudes at the end game. Then, uh, yeah, yeah, that would add up to that, wouldn't it? Can I get in there? Can I use that ladder? I don't think I've ever used a ladder in this game. No, I'm just rubbing myself against it. That's not helpful at all. Unless you're a cat and need to mark it as your territory. Hey, they're much more civilized than dogs. They have scent glands in their cheeks, which is why they're always rubbing their faces on things. Fortunately, Jesse is not a cat, and we do not need to mark this with scent glands. We need to... Oh, that, I guess. Oh, this looks important. What is that? Is that a node? I think that's just a node. Stuck on the side of a cave wall. That's not weird at all. What are the Hiss even doing down here? I thought they just wanted Hedron dead. And then they got that. Spooky. Oh, shit. I was loud enough in my headphones, I thought the ceiling is about to come down on me. Oh yeah! That's another important thing. Uh... I can't remember if someone left this in a comment, or if I just suddenly realized this on my own. I thought it was the former, but I was totally unable to find it today when I went looking through the comments, so... Uh, if it was you, I apologize. I went looking, I just couldn't find it. But, um... They made a big deal out of the fact that nothing ever changes in the Foundation. In fact, it's the only part of the oldest house that is stable. But since we got here, we've seen crystals growing out of the walls. And I don't think that's directly because of the Astral Plane bleed, because this isn't astral material, this is just rock. This is just crystal rock. Ooh. Wait. Someone made a control point out of rocks and sand? 
I mean, I won't look a gift horse in the mouth, but... It's a little bit weird. Even for this place. Am I going the right way, even? Where am I? There I am. Oh. Is this all one big... Yep! Well, now where the fuck I am? <laughs> so, yeah. The board were calm when the Hiss invaded. They freaked out when the Hiss threatened the, uh, the, uh, the Black Pyramid. And then they seemed really, really unhappy about whatever's happening in the Foundation. I think the Astral Bleed is an even bigger problem than we realized last time. Because I think the board only get that agitated when they are in danger. I have a feeling that it's not just the, uh, the Oldest House. I think if this is allowed to continue, the Astral Plane and the Oldest House will destroy each other. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh my god. Level 8 dudes? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh right. Ah oh, fuck, I was trying to take off there. It must have gotten me in the leg with that pickaxe. Just as I lifted off. I suppose that's why they're so brutal, because the player can remove themselves from that situation fairly easily, so they need to be really, really fast and do a lot of damage. I haven't even checked my mods in forever. Oh look, someone restacked that stuff while I was dead. Uh, What am I looking at? Yes, sorry, I was... Ooh. Oh, there you are, the same. Which one did I put up here? <clears throat> oh, that's right, money. Yes, good. Why aren't they flashing? That's weird. Didn't those things normally strobe a little? Oh, they are. It's just really slowly for some reason today. Oh, it just does that every time I find a jukebox token, that's right. At least it doesn't mark it up at the top. So yeah, th something has happened, and because a big tower called the Nail has been destroyed, the Astral Plane and the Oldest House are bleeding into each other. Well, that's what that's for, duh. What in the hell? Fuck you! Fucking sniper, I don't need this! Okay, going after that guy first. With charge. Let us not fuck around right now. So I guess the nail must have been stuck exactly where the barrier between those two dimensions is thinnest, huh? Which is why everything is going fucky in the Foundation, but no one up in the uh, actual Bureau has noticed yet. Go, buddy! No, seriously, where did that guy go? No, no, and no.
Oh, well, they do have a ranged attack. It's not a very good one. Oh, he didn't like that one little bit. Uh, yes. I did forget about that, so let's just- go, oh, God! Jesus! Ow! Dots, get those dots! throwing shit at me. What the hell? Come on, where the fuck are you? Oh, fuck. I forgot how quickly that thing went off after it charges up fully. Thought I could just hold that for a little bit. My bad. Nope. So now we just stand here and stare at each other, huh? Huh? They do look like war boys. I can't remember who said that. Yeah, someone made a comment saying, Did you step back into Mad Max or something? I hadn't even noticed while these guys were trying to brain me. But yeah, they look like, uh, Scabrous Scrotus's war boys. And yes, that was the real name of a character from the Mad Max game. Huh. It was K-O-R. Who also said that, uh, rather than the G and the C I use to remember which one is a stalagmite and which one is a stalactite, uh, yeah, for me, it was stalactites have to hold tight onto the ceiling, and stalagmites might one day grow tall enough to connect and form a pillar. Huh. Neat. Just wanted to take a moment to check that, because, yeah, absolutely, kind of nailed that one. War boys. I mean, it's a good thing the, uh, the hiss don't speak, because I think they might get, like, sued for copyright infringement if they actually shouted, Witness me. <laughs> oh. Oh, I was exactly aligned with that. I do enjoy that, just casually stepping onto the platform. I wonder if it's red over here because of the dust? Or because of, uh, the hiss? Hmm. Where the fuck am I going? Back to the warehouse. Okay. That damn gun. Faith. Not sure he's ready. I'm here, aren't I? I saved the Bureau once, and I'll do it again. Hell yeah. Oh, I have climbed up quite a ways. Huh. So, I guess I'm heading for that, huh? <laughs> I pressed A exactly as it wore off, so instead of triggering uh, slow fall, it just turned off slow fall. Huh. Well, now I'm up here. Oops. I keep doing that. Probably wasn't good for the shelf either. Good, 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 good. Hey, lore! Subterranean Research, 17 out of 57. Meteor Hill Supplement, AWE-3. Event date, uh, June 23rd, 1958. That's actually before they found the oldest house. Neat. Event location, Sawyer County, Wisconsin. Meteor Hill, AWE-3. Note, per archival mandates 8.A, this document has been edited to meet current administrative standards. Certain terminology may be out of date. 
<clears throat> the, re the retrieved material was subjected to Felstrom's array, configuration 74B, but the tests were halted as the matter began to physically elude the equipment. Attempts to constrain the element were made, but, under further stress, it became vaporous. The researchers suffered corrosive injuries prior to their deaths. The child victims at Meteor Hill recounted the material enveloping them in a pleasant manner upon making contact. But when discovered, they were redacted and screaming. Bodily changes were perceived immediately, deformities, loss of pigment in the skin and hair, and mental symptoms surfaced in subsequent examinations, confusion, heightened aggression. The Department of Public Knowledge and Diversions gave statements claiming the incident was caused by degree from poorly made Russian satellites, with the public, which the public accepted with no complications. The s children were sent to the Bureau's recuperation facility and redacted to receive help away from society. So they used to give a shit, huh? Oh dear. Well, I hate that. Oh, right. And the full uh, speech here. Uh, yes, this one. I only heard of the foundation. Oh, no, wait, that's not right. That's, a, that's the first one, isn't it? The very bottom of the oldest hat. Yeah, okay, my bad. Uh, becoming director. I've served under two directors. Three now, I suppose. Trench and I worked our way up together. We made it through the tough cases, the bad days, the casualties. He was the epitome of a good agent. Smart, decisive, selfless. And he picked up that damn gun. Becoming director is a formal process overseen by the board. Lots of ritual and mystery. After that, Key staff provide detailed briefs on all classified matters, past and present, but with favor. Well, there's no protocol for field promotion. Huh. The girl's smart, has a good head on her shoulders. I'm trusting her to handle the hiss upstairs, while I hold them off here. All this shit with a nail, the board, I'm not sure she's ready. Besides, I work better alone. Are you telling me? I've just suddenly had the thought. Are you seriously telling me that the board called that tower the nail as a pun? I didn't catch that until she said the nail, the board. Whatever energy is emitted when I do that, the lights really don't like it. Ooh. So this must be that one. Okay, except... This is just an inn. That's where I came from. I, uh, I've got that lore, but I didn't find anything actually new here. Okay, Clothes don't do that when you're in a real elevator. Oh, it's just the button. There's nothing behind that panel. Ha. Huh. Okay. Um... What am I missing? Shit! I thought I was onto something and it just led back here and didn't actually give me any new items or anything. Other than the mods I got off of those dead guys. 
For a moment there, I was wondering if the children were going to turn out to be the sharpened. These new melee guys. I haven't actually seen anything in here I would describe as a ritual, which is not ideal. I really missed nothing. There's no items in here at all. Okay. Fuck! Just bumped right over the edge. What's that weird door in the front I could never reach? Or did I do that at the end of the session? I honestly can't remember. It's been a few days. Well, at least those elevated guys haven't respawned. Another one of these IDs. And some more of this. Ooh, and a lore. Another ID card. For a cartographer. Ah, good. Meteor Hill summary. Uh, yeah, same. Wait. Oh, no, I thought the first one was 1956, but no, 1958. Okay. Per archival, uh, same issue at the top. This paradimensional occurrence, so I guess I must have started out calling them POs, uh, consisted of three sequential sinkholes induced by subterranean implosions, revealing foreign material of magmatic qualities. I barely understood that. A local chapter of the Youth Science League were participating in an archaeological dig on the hill when the event occurred. Many boys were injured in the resulting collapse. Some touched the magma directly. Bureau agents arrived at the scene seven days after the incident. Savo samples of the lava-like material were taken. The, aim was qu the area was quickly sealed off from the public at our recommendation. Our aim was to ensure all remnants of the material were rendered inoffensive, but the magma descended too deeply into the earth to retrieve. Foul-smelling odors were detected in the area, which are hypothesized being the dissipated element's vapor trail left at the scene. All acquired material was delivered to Washington for examination in the Bureau's on-site laboratories. Hmm. It's always neat to find new lore like that. I'm not sure what it means in this case. Well, the timer did go, so... Nothing. Oh. Huh, didn't, hadn't noticed the splinters just shrink until they disappear before. Um. Alright, I did a lot of theorizing. Got did a couple shout-outs, and... Oh, is that the same... No, it isn't. So what the fuck is this room? Is this just tunnel access? Is this where I came in the first time? No. Right. Okay, just checking. This room doesn't have a designation, but there isn't much here anyway, so, uh... Okay, then. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play The Foundation, the DLC chapter for Control. Tune in next time when we try to figure out this ritual. Maybe find some more ID cards. Later.